Hi, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of um, oracle cards for additional information. We are beginning with the Three of Wands. And in the Three of Wands, we see this man looking out in the distance, kind of taking stock of what's out there. And this little gateway or portal of wands, he's leaning on for support. This is a card of vision. It's a card of looking at the big picture and how you're seeing the future for yourself. What do you want to do? How are you going to integrate your passions, your enthusiasms, the, the things that you want to do in this short life that we have? And so when you're looking out over this horizon, you're thinking about how am I going to do it? How am I going to create this new life or this new path? Exploration through leadership, through vision, through setting your intention, but this is a card of seeing the big picture. What is next for you? It's the initial stages of manifesting, of building this future, of beginning to see perhaps how it may come to be. So, you know, the world is out there for you to conquer, but it's a matter of you wanting to do a certain thing and to, uh, to take the steps to make it happen. On a literal level, this could suggest travel or perhaps international travel or commerce with the Three of Wands. So with the awareness of this sense of the big picture, of the vision forward where you're going, here we have the star. And the star is always a lovely card to have in a reading. And the star is without clothes. She is gentle, kind, and she's feeling comfortable being in her own skin. And that's being authentic. And it's allowing yourself to feel free in a sense because, you know, it's like it's, you're okay with whatever happens. You can get hurt, you're vulnerable, but you are in your own skin. And this is what's going on. It's almost like you've been stripped of everything else before and you're, you're having this cleanse or this freshness. She's pouring water into the pond She's pouring water onto land, and so it's a sense of connecting physical, earth, and spiritual, emotional sense, your spirituality. We look to the stars for guidance, and that's important, because that stars, it, it lifts our spirits. And the message of the stars to have faith in the future is to believe, to have optimism, to believe that the stars and that the universe have got your back and they're looking out for you. And so we often see this card after a period of struggle, but it's a beautiful affirmation. It's not so much a do, do, do card of getting out there and doing things. It's much more of the mindset of knowing that everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to work out for me the way that I hope it will. I have faith. I believe that the universe is going to take care of me. So that's the awareness for the week in terms of guidance. Ooh. So in terms of guidance, we have the judgment card, major arcana. So we have more naked people. These are naked gray people rising out of their coffins. Why? Because they heard the call. The angel blowing the fanfare, blowing the horn, just like they the section of stairway to heaven, da 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 you know, when they're blowing, call, rise up and, and listen. It's when you get the call, it, they're telling you to listen. 
You may get the call in your heart. You may get the call when you're driving to work one day. Something may click within you that you need to take stock of your life, that you need to evaluate what has happened before, and you need to give permission to yourself to forgive and to let it go, that you have a chance for a clean slate, for a rebirth, and to, for a second chance to get to your highest self, to live your authentic purpose, to be the person that you believe you are or can be. So judgment is this chance for you to not be bogged down by what has happened before, but allow yourself the, the spirit and the freedom to believe what can be. And it can happen at any age. You're not restricted. You know, you don't, you don't forfeit the chance to be reborn, the chance to transform, the chance to restructure. But it is judgment. It, it is taking stock of your life, of what has happened, where you are, where you hope to go, and not punishing yourself for it. Sometimes we, we punish ourselves and um, it doesn't serve anything. You know, you have to allow yourself to be cleansed, to start anew, to start fresh. When you get the call and listen to the call. And so with this sense of optimism and faith and getting the call, we're also getting a message for you, which is to restore and to recover. This soldier or this man is in this meditative pose or prayerful pose below the swords. He's laid down his swords. He's taking a step back from a situation or from a scenario, recuperating, recovering. Doesn't mean that the situation is going to go away, but it may give you a new approach. It may, you may be thinking of a, a new path in order to perhaps get to the rebirth. But it's a restoration. It's a restoration of your soul and of your spirit and of your body, which is spirit and body here with the star. So let's see what we have for you in terms of possible outcomes. Okay, so we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, powerful, um, charismatic energy of a person in your environment, or maybe these are your qualities, who is uh, really noticeable in terms of their will, their drive, their ambition, their successes. More than likely, they succeed on a grand scale. Their failures also might be pretty big as well. But this is lots of confidence and lots of desire to be in the game, doing things, social circles, networking, businesses, volunteering, all aspects able to handle. Confidence, powerful, personal power, and um, really getting out there and creating. And, and, and he's, a, he's a big picture kind of person as well. So with all of this sense of healing, of, of positive thoughts, of judgment, and resting, we get the Three of Swords. Pain and heartbreak and hurt and rainy days ahead, gloomy, rainy days because of the pain. So something this week, you know, is going to cause this stabbing feeling, that, that ouch. Listen, it could be someone, it could be as innocuous as someone saying um, uh, an unkind word to really hurting your feelings and you having to deal with it. It could be a situation that's been a disappointment Maybe it didn't quite turn out the way that you had hoped. You know, for those that are dating, and maybe you're dating someone like a king of wands and you had that this powerful presence was going to be, you know, hoping to establish something with them, and maybe it just doesn't turn out and you get hurt. But 
This is a disappointment. The good news about the Three of Swords is that this doesn't last forever. We find ways to climb out of disappointment, sadness, hurt, or betrayal. It takes time. It takes thinking about, oh, well, you know, maybe things happen for a reason. And it may hurt now, but in the long run, I'll be better off. It, again, it's thinking in the long run, thinking of the future and having faith. There are always bumps along the road. There are always going to be disappointments. There are always going to be people who hurt or betray. And that's just what it is. And we have to deal with it. But ultimately, we are in charge of our own path. Three of Wands, how we set our intentions, how we were able to judge ourselves and to think about what's, you know, what's our second chance going to be. So let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. Stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. So we see some ideas of power here. And I will say that once we have a few of these under our belt, we evolve, we grow a little stronger. Our skin maybe gets a little tougher to deal with things, but you know that's building strength from within. Stepping into power, I do like that a lot. So now let's see what we have for spirit or emotional self. Peaceful warrior, Archangel Ariel. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. So peaceful warrior, fighting for yourself, doing so in a gentle and compassionate way, putting your interests first and making sure that when you're in a good place, you know, then you're able to be of service to others, but you have to take care of yourself. You have to be in your best place possible. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. You always have a choice as to what you should do. Again, personal power. The choices, the decisions, the things that we do define us. And, um, you know, you have a chance to be reborn. You have a chance for the second act maybe a third act, but you do have the opportunity. When you get the call and you realize, I need to do something that's going to be the right fit to, so that I can be the best person that I can be. So this is what I have for you for the week. I hope you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. And I hope you have a fantastic week. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.